In this video, we will create lintels above these two door and window openings. There are two ways to create lintels. The first is to use settings from an XML file, and the second is to create custom settings for the lintels in the Archiframe user interface. Let's start by adding lintels from an XML file. Lintels can be added before or after a framing has been created, and in this case we have wall framing without lintels. To add a lintel above the opening, select the piece above the opening and check the Add Load Bearing or Add Non Load Bearing lintel box from the Element Settings window. So there. Next, I'll undo that and show you how to add lintels above the door and the window at the same time. To do so, I'll select the pieces above both openings and then simply check the lintel box. So again, here's the result. It's also possible to add the lintels before creating wall framing. I'll delete this wall framing to show you. So now I'll turn on the wall element layer, which is shown in wireframe. And then I'll select the wall element and simply check the lintel box for that. And then I'll create planks. So again, we have two lintels above both openings. The lintel settings come from the Archiframe Elements XML file, which contains definitions for both load-bearing and non-load-bearing lintels. If you need to change these settings, please contact us at Archiframe and we'll help you. Next, let's look at setting up custom lintels. Here I have wall framing with no lintels. And now, if I select the piece above an opening, I can open the custom lintel settings window. In this window, I can select different options for the lintel I'm creating. First, let's choose the material of the lintel. I can choose any of these predefined materials from the material list, which already have dimensions defined for them. Instead, I'll create custom dimensions for the lintel, and to do so, I'll choose block and enter the height and width of the block here. Next, we have to decide if the lintel will be added to the front or back side of the wall. Whether the front and back refer to the inside or the outside of the wall is determined by the viewing direction of the wall. I'll come back to this once we've added the lintel, but for now I'll place the lintel on the back side of the wall by placing 1 here and 0 here. I'll set yes to remove original piece, and since it will be removed it can be extended. And I'll also say yes to cutting studs above the lintel. And the number of additional studs refers to the extra wall studs that will be added on either side of the opening. So here. And finally, I won't check the place below top plate box because that would place the lintel at the top of the wall framing. And then I'll click OK. So here's the result. And as you can see, the studs above the lintel are now cut to the top of the lintel. Notice that our lintel is on the outside of the wall. This is because in the settings we place the lintel to the back of the wall. I'll turn on the wall element layer to show you the viewing direction. The viewing direction can be most easily determined from the wall element's ID text. In this case, the text is not legible from the outside, so we know that the wall's viewing direction is from the inside out. So, looking from this perspective, the text is legible, and the lintel is on the back side of the wall.
I'll undo the lintel. And finally, I'll show you another way to create lintels for multiple openings at once. This is done by selecting a wall stud and setting the lintel settings. I'll remove the check in the cut studs above lintel box. And then I'll click OK. So now again, we get two lintels above both openings. And as you can see, the studs above the lintels have been grooved around the lintels rather than cut at the top of the lintels. For more information on what each of the settings in the custom lintel window mean, please check the help PDF. This can be accessed by opening the lintel settings and pressing Alt Shift F1. In the PDF, you'll find a table with before and after pictures of lintels after each setting has been applied.